Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bulldogs and the Rebels are both on the field as we take a live look at what's going on as Mississippi State and Ole Miss get set to square off in the Egg Bowl. Why the Egg Bowl? Simple. Trophy looks like an egg. Somebody's going to have their hearts broken today. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. for the opening kickoff. So here we go. From the five-yard line. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Senior class taking the home field for the final time. And no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Yard line. Mississippi State's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. From their own 28 yard line, it's second down. Out to the tailback, and he dropped it. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. Fourth down. Vini is the punter. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Counter right. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. Picks. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Under pressure. Quick throw. And he's taken down right around the 16-yard line. It's great to put the ball in his hands and let him go to work. Big, big gain right there. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. That brings up second and nine. Check, 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 check
The 10, the 5, and they make the stop at the three-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Zone touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. converts the extra point. A nice six play, 55 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the four. Tackle made at the 26. The Rebels are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Makes it to the 37. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. go the distance he has some room he's all the way touchdown Kirk that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch well this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire the quarterback threw the ball perfectly and again the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play well, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. And he adds the extra point. A quick two-play, 74-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. We're even at seven in this one. Mississippi State is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 34-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. down eight yards to go ball on the 35 yard line he wants it all finds his receiver who's all alone he's tackled at the 19 The pitch, and he's got some room. And down he goes. That's the 10. That's good for That brings up second and one. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. That makes it first and goal.
short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He makes the PAT. Mitchell gets set to kick this one away. Morgan from the three. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over in our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackle around the 29-yard line. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Ready. Going long. And he makes a catch. He might have a chance. And he's tackled at the 10-yard line. is out to the tailback on the screen. He's taken down at the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Hand off, and he's met immediately. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. A short yardage defense here. Green 90. Green 90. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Played one quarter, 14 apiece. Mississippi State ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28. Just amazing, Herbie. We've seen four straight possessions now in which the offenses have scored. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Loss of three. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That brings up second and 13. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 25-yard line. to about the 27-yard line. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Brought down around the 46-yard line. He diagnosed the blitz immediately and had time to improvise for the big play. That's the kind of quick thinking you need to succeed as a quarterback. Here he goes. He gets to about the 31-yard line. 
First down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Watch 14, watch 14. Double. Go. He's taken down at about the 13. Quick throw out to the receiver. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. They'll drop in for a loss. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. This is the eighth play of this drive. There's a fumble. The defense has it. Diving for extra yardage. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow him down. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes his way out to about the 12. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's to the 20. He makes his way out to about the 25. to him before he could get back to the line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. From their own 23-yard line, second down. McLean gets the carry. Tackled after decent pickup. McLean gains around six yards on the run. The Rebels lost a player earlier, and Herbie, this is a big blow to this team. Doesn't look like he's going to play any more football today. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and they make the stop at the 50. a great tackle at midfield. They don't have enough time to play dink and dunk football like this. They need to move the ball and do it quickly. Here's the eighth play of the series. Makes the first down catch. Tackle made at the 35. Has it to the senior. Open field, knocked out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's tackled at about the 19-yard line. You like the faith he has in his receiver to just put the ball up and let him go get it. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And he 
throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes around the 11-yard line. He fights forward to about the 10. A gain of a yard of the quarterback keeper. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Mississippi State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. This one is incomplete. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Second and 10. Ball on their own 33. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Jordan gains about five yards on the play. Ole Miss is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. He was way out in front on that one. Yeah, there was no chance for the tight end to catch up to that ball there. Lawrence is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Mississippi State is up by three. He chucks it downfield. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 17-14, Mississippi State. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Gathered in at the six. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Too easy, too easy. 
There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. He gets rid of this one. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Morgan, the return man. Morgan fields it at the 27, brought down at the 27-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Mississippi State has a three-point lead. Close to being intercepted. Number three breaks the ball. That makes it second and ten. Man left, man left. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Hands it to the back. Makes it out to about the 39. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Throws incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. it to the back and he stopped behind the line and they'll lose a yard there really they just had nowhere to go after the catch that makes it fourth and long mississippi state holds a field goal lead to the 40. Oh, he got nailed on that one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Quick pass. He's at the 40, and he's tackled around the 36-yard line. Number 
down to two on the tackle at the 36 yard line. First down. First down. He's taken down at about the 27 yard line. That brings in second and one. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it first and ten. And he makes it out to about the 21 yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 21 yard line. He's on the run. Gains his way to the seven yard line. First and goal. Well, this defense can use that last possession as their rallying cry when they forced a fumble the last time the offense was down here in the red zone. That brings up a second and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. Here's the give, and he's level at the six-yard line. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Ole Miss is down three and looking to tie it up. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Mitchell gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Nice run to the outside. immediately after the catch. That'll make it 39. Third and nine. Ball on their own 26. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. Brought down at about the 31. So at the end of the third quarter, this game is all tied up with 17. Well, we're all tied up now as we head to the all-important fourth quarter. Vini awaits the snap. Caldwell fields it at the 27, and down he goes at the 43-yard line. So early in the fourth quarter, every possession is going to count from here on out, and we're in a tie ball game. He lets it fly, and he got it, 
And he's taken down at the 26. Good outside run there. Good open field tackle. That's good for a of eight yards. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Touchdown, Rebels! Great play by the halfback there to find his way into the end zone. Again, the offense goes with the option. The defender can only pick one player. And this time, he can't pick the wrong guy. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Morgan from the one. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Pass right, running back's got it. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. That's a game in real play. That'll make it second and seven. Check three, check three, check three. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. No game. That'll bring up third and eight. Larry, Larry. Put the mic. Watch Mike. Watch Mike. but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. Hey, hurry up, hurry up. Hey, here we go. Get on the ball. Get on the ball. Vini to punt. for the corner. Oh, what a hit. Nice yardage on the run back. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Less than three minutes in the game. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. The Bulldogs will use their first time out of the half. From the 18-yard line, first down. So the defense has had enough of the no huddle as they call a timeout. A two-yard run by the halfback. This junior corner has been progressively improving his run defense. He's better at diagnosing those plays now. He knows how to bring a guy down. 
tackle made at the four-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. Touchdown, Ole Miss! The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Offense.
And he hits the PAT. So that's a six play, 52 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 31 17. Morgan fields it at the seven. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Not a whole lot of time left in this game, Brad. They've got to score down two possessions, and they need to score as fast as they can and then recover an onside kick and hope to be able to have a shot to tie this game. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. The spike will stop the clock. Third and eight. Ball on the 33-yard line. Here we go. 580. That's a great tackle at the 26-yard line. And that's a defensive end who was able to get him that time. It's pretty awesome when a freshman can work his way through the offensive line to get a sack like that. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He heaves it deep. And for Murray, he's up to 100 yards and catches. I think this defense has got to do a better job of making adjustments. This guy seems to be making catches the entire game. If they don't do something different to be able to slow him down, he's just going to continue to make big plays. He's tackled at the 23. 200 checks! 200 checks! Stops the clock with a spike. Third and five coming up. Ball in the 23. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. Takes a knee. This one's in the books, and our final score, 31-17, Ole Miss. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down in the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.